Hello everyone and welcome back to XCOM. Uh, looking at the upcoming events here, we're going to have ammo conservation in one day, which is going to be awesome. Alien nav computer, I'm not sure what that's going to give us with this expansion pack, but we're going to find that out soon. And improved medkit is also going to be pretty damn awesome. So let's get that all underway here by scanning for activity. There we go. We got $15 to 9 alloys. That's, I guess that's cool. Alright, so ammo conservation is ours. Anything else we want to get? I mean, approved pistols would be nice. Scope upgrade would be, would be nice. Hmm. It's just the money. And I think I would rather have advanced servo motors instead of the scope. Hmm. Uh, we're going to need more money in any case, so we'll just wait. Uh oh. Is this another Exalt? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Attempt raid on Exalt HQ. We have enough intel to accuse the country of harboring the Exalt base. Oh, we do we now. Well, we know it's not America or Russia. It's a country you can play in civilization. It's not an English speaking country and it's not in Europe. That's still. Let's see. So they, it could be in China, India, Egypt, Nigeria, Argentina, Mexico. Oh, but it's it's a, a country you can play in Civilization Five. The thing is, like, I don't know that by heart. I'm assuming that it automatically puts these red X's over countries that this information is telling us it's not in. So it's either Mexico, Brazil. Could it still be in countries? It could be that I you don't. I remember when all we heard about hmm. were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have Let's go on the operation. Away. I don't have enough information yet to attack a base. Okay, so soldier list. We're going to put David on there. As always. Give you a flashbang and a nano vest. Good luck. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Egypt. Very good. Alright, let's see. We have a thermal generator in seven days. After that, we can get another satellite uplink center. This unlocked the Nexus. Oh, just in time. And um, still, all oh, right, the still satellites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is probably what we're going to be trying to go for: is the satellite Nexus. All right. Next, let's do Lyrium or new fighter craft. Twenty days. Let's do Illyrium. Okay, engineering, build facilities. How much is the Nexus? $250 and two UFO flight computers. Huh. Two UFO flight computers, and I'm guessing we don't have because it was in the red. Do you have any? We have one. So we're going to need to do a raid on a enemy ship. Hopefully that's coming up soon. All right, improved uh, med kit. That's also very good. Glad we got that. Shaped armor. Hello. Give us five engineers for four laser pistols. Hmm. How many engineers do we have? We have twenty-five. Hmm. How much? How much we talking here? Hmm. Just simply because it's seven alloys is kind of making me go like, eh. Hmm. Hmm. I also wanted to try this thing out. No, I don't think we're going to build or do that laser pistol thing. If it was money, I think I would do it, but um, no, I don't want to spend the alloys on the laser pistol. Yeah. Come on, shaped armor. Yeah! Awesome. So does that actually change the look of our max at all? I think it did? No. No, it did not. 
Hmm. Oh well. Like that should make them stronger, right? That's what <laughs> give them more hit points. There we go. Nice. We need a flight computer, so let's do this. Send the Sky Ranger. Um. Okay. Well, do we just want to send the same? Hmm. Oh, and Sunny, I did upgrade you. I, I forgot you had already sent me your full list of upgrades, so I gave you the uh, Bullet Swarm. Hmm. Well. I would like to keep uh, the gamer. Squad side is, is definitely, well, I, I guess it depends on if this is a forested drop or not. If it's in the forest, squad side is pretty good. You can keep a person in the back and then, you know, have him cover the entire forest with uh, squad sides. I need Sunrise, I need Tall Mac. Um, we can clear out Caesar because he's been in for quite a while. And... Man, there's still so many people. Okay, let's, um, let's see. Alex is still a squatty. So this would give us two squatties and a corporal, which is slightly better than a squatty. Hmm. No. So I'm going to get rid of Deathman and get another mech in here. I'm still waiting to hear from uh, Warden on what you wanted for your next upgrade. So I guess that means we'll put Llama? Oh, I need to make items available. There we go. Um, do I want to give you the kinetic one or the flamethrower? Damage enemy unit as well as any cover can knock most enemies back. Supporting joint and skeletal reinforcements enhance the maximum mobility, allowing it to close the melee range more easily. Hmm. And being up close does make you receive less damage. You also can repair yourself. You could also fire and do your... Yeah, let's... Well, yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. Okay. Um, we will keep Sunny, Maverick. Let's give you a loadout here. And, okay. Everybody have armor, everybody have laser weapons. Alright, I think we're good to go. And I'm just looking at this page of people that we still need to get on the team. It's like a full page of, I think, 30 plus additional people. <laughs> oh man. It's going to be a while. The next deployment site is in the UK. Oh, interesting. This is new. We track the aircraft to a landing site. Okay. If it's wide and open, then squad site's definitely going to be awesome. This is Big Sky. Oh no, it's just a forest. <laughs> and the ship is right there. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. And the map goes up to there. Okay, so it's going to be pretty long this way since this is going to be the ship. All right, well, there's almost definitely going to be something around there. So, let's get, yeah, let's get Andrew up here. Because that, um, you know, you're on raised ground, and that is going to, your squad site's going to be able to see everything in this area. So, that's a good position for you. Let move Stormy up here. Alright, I'm not going to want to move too much further. Uh, let's get Tallmac. Hmm. 
wondering if we should try to move people over here as well. Move like three people up this way um, in the full cover of trees and attack from this way. We have other people attack from this way. I think so. So we'll move Tomac. Move. Man, you can really dash far in this mech suit. Holy crap. Oh no, they killed the cows. You you monsters. Boy. Okay. Uh Sunny. Stepping Get you right there. Overwatch and then Maverick. Heading there now. Put you right there and Overwatch. <laughs> That's a mechtoid. That's definitely a mechtoid. And we have Meld over here. Alright, well let's move Tomac up here. And see if he sees anything. Nothing. Ah, oh, shit. I, I'm hesitant. Let's, how far can Caliente... Okay, let's move Caliente up. Estoy en So if I move, uh, if I move Tomac there, that could possibly reveal something. Shit. You're gonna stay there. Actually, I think I'd rather have Sunny move right there for rocket purposes. So we'll move you out. here. I think that means we're gonna bring these two closer to the team. So, Good copy. Moving on target. move you over there. Yeah, forget my initial plan. I don't want to be that separated. We'll attack up the um, up the center and up this way. So, Stormy. Hmm. Hmm. Go treat. I'll just dash you over there. I'm still afraid to even move Tallmac up. <laughs> Not that that's a great spot to be in case people show up, but I don't want to reveal anything at this point either. So... We're going to risk it and just have you stay on down in the open. Uh-oh. Don't show yourselves. Okay. Caliente. Oh my god, we only have two turns to get the meld? Oh no. I don't even know... If... Well... If I can run and gun you up to the meld, then we can grab it, right? So let's see... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten or so squares. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get you way up here. Well, this is gonna be risky. Sonny, I want you right Got it. there. Maverick will move you Moving to designated over there. And Sunrise. I think we'll move you up there too. Caliente, we will go into Overwatch. Overwatch with um, Andrew. Okay, so if I want that meld, I'm going to have to run and gun up there. Oh boy.
No way. We still didn't reveal anything? Holy shit. I thought for sure. Okay. That was unexpected. Sunrise, let's get you up here. Maverick, let's get you into this full cover. And since it's clear up to this point, we're going to move Sunny up as well. Although not over here. We're going to move you... I guess this should be okay. Already there. All right, so would you still have good sight on everything? You won't have sight on anything up this way, but you should still be able to cover this entire area pretty well from there. But maybe I should still move you up close to the team in case something comes up behind us. So that's the next full cover spot. Eh. I'll tell you what. Let's get some more vision on this part of the map. Getting a better look. Make sure nothing's coming up behind us. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to put you in Overwatch. We'll put Caliente in Overwatch. That's so weird that we don't see anything yet. All right, how far can Sunny fire rockets? That's probably not gonna be far enough. And the cover is pretty bad in this area. Maybe it would be best to just go up the side See what uh, we see from here. Because we can go up and run up the siding, and I think there's going to be a door back there. Or we can just saw from right here. Yeah, whatever. I guess this would be fine. Move you up Could here. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? Let's move. Roger, Dodger. Sunny up there to get closer with the rocket. Move Stormy up there. Estoy en and Maverick. Overwatch. Okay. Let's move Llama up. Oh my god, there's the Mectoid. Is he act he's and he's in a spot I don't think that um Andrew can even see him. Oh wait, no you can. Okay, cool. 88% chance if we do headshot we have a 50% chance to crit. We're gonna go for it. Alright, take it. Is Sunny, oops, is Sunny close enough for the rocket? Probably not. Nope. Nope. We can not run and gun tall Mac. Forty-three percent chance. Seventy-three percent chance. Come on! You get one more shot. 
right? Oh no, because I moved you. Hmm. Well. Shoot. This is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. I'm gonna pop smoke on you. Nuage de couverture. We're going to dash Talmac into the smoke right here, which should pop the Overwatch shot. No. Didn't. Huh. Ten four. Heading there now. I thought it would. But oh well. And then here comes the shield. But it's close enough now to use your kinetic thing, so we'll be able to get to see the. Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god, dude, what? What? All right, we're gonna have to rocket these two to get rid of the shield on the other mectoid and deal damage to this guy. Oh my god. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. We we may be all right. Tomac can run and gun. Um Andrew, let's see. You have an 80 per 80% chance to kill him. I think what I'm worried about is this one though, because I think the kinetic module should be able to take care of the other one. So let's fire on this mectoid. Alright. We're gonna have to pop its Overwatch shot, so we're gonna run and gun Tall Mac. And we're gonna. I'm sorry, Tall Mac, I, I have to kill this thing, so we're gonna dash you right up next to it. This It's very risky, I know. Because you're not going to be in cover. But they both need to die this turn. Fuck. Really? Ah. Uh, With the Berserker there, I think... I think Tomac's gonna die. It was a risk. Does 12 damage to enemies. That would... that would do it. Okay. That's kind of cool. But unfortunately, we are pretty effed. I can't 
can't even see anything. Those aren't the guys I'm worried about. I'm worried about the two mutons and a berserker. Uh, Jesus. No way. The other two mutons didn't attack? No flipping way. Okay, well, maybe we are not effed yet. Um, no, it's too risky. I, I was thinking about maybe using Tallmac to, um, yeah, I, I thought that was going to happen, the light reflexes, to um, shoot the Berserker, but I need to pull him back and get him healed. Caliente. You can only fire once and then I can have you move. Which will bring him closer to our other people to get another shot. Or I can try to do move up and do a kinetic strike, but that won't finish him. Alright, let's hope this hits. Wow. Man, that's that's unfortunate. Fallado. So we let's hope this hits. That didn't hit. Maverick has a sixty percent chance. And you have a seventy one, but I would need both of them to hit at this point. I'm going to need to heal Tallmac. And I'm going to put you in Overwatch because now hitting him is... Yeah, I shouldn't have hit him. But I knew that um, Sunny had two shots, so I thought maybe with Sunny and Maverick they could do it. hoping they were going to go for Caliente, and they did. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So I could kinetic strike him. Um... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just kinetic strike this motherfucker. What? Oh man, I was like, what? Is that like a counterattack? Damn! That was actually kind of cool. That was pretty cool. 
Okay, let's heal up Tomac again. I can't believe we got out of that situation alive. I can't believe those two mutons decided not to advance with the berserker and kill us all. That is... I think that is the game taking pity on me. For spawning two mactoids and a berserker so damn close to each other. That's the only thing I can think of. I cannot believe we got out of that situation like that. I mean, am I right? When I saw the Berserker group, you all thought we were dead too, right? Alright, now here come the Mutons. Andrew should hit because he has no penalty for Overwatch. Yes! Yes! Dude, the power of squad sight. Okay, there's one more Muton, two Sectoids. And I think I need to do the last med kit on um, Llama here. Let me pull her back. And we will reload. You're going to continue to Overwatch. Overwatch. Heal. Okay. One more Muton, two Sectoids back there. Tomac. Damn. Wasted Andrew's shot on the Sectoid. I like that you hit his corpse, though. That was pretty cool. I was waiting for the other Muton. Because it's sitting back there in Overwatch. Do we just... Oh, and I already lost the other meld anyway. You know, you know what? I'm going to just continue to sit here and wait for that Muton. It may be boring, but damn it. It's effective, and there's no meld to get anyway anymore. So fuck it. What's making that noise? Because drawing the enemy out here is favorable to us with the since we have a sniper. So nothing came out that time. Uh, okay, so you're gonna make me go after you. We won't run a gun. Where the hell are you? going to come to me then I'm going to come to them meaning we're going to move up Andrew now Okay, so that room is clear. Now I need to see if this room is. I'm on it, Commander. But I want everybody to be in Overwatch, who can be anyway. So you're going to Overwatch. You're going to move you yeah, right boy. here. Put you in Overwatch, because there's still one. Yeah, there's still one guy out there. 
Another muton and insectoid. Well, actually, I shouldn't have moved you up there. We'll move you back I'm down here. It, and then Sunny. Okay, so that's the sectoid. That sounds like a floater coming from around our side. There's the sectoid. And there's the floaters. You gotta be kidding me, we can't even see them. You can see the sectoid, but I want him killing the floater. And now Tallmac is over here and out of running gun range for the floaters. Shit. Let's see if this muton is still down here somewhere. No. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm all over it. We're gonna go inside and get ready for the floaters. Um Tallmac. Move up. Sunrise, we're gonna need to get you. Ah, I can't get you inside. I don't wanna go over there and possibly reveal more aliens. Damn it. I can't dash you up there into full cover. But going that way, you may pop the Overwatch shots from those guys. Shit. I think we're just going to withdraw you a little bit. Position confirmed. Overwatch. Caliente. We will kinetic strike though. Oh no, that's going to destroy the the door. But it doesn't look like that should destroy the cover that Tall Max behind. Damn. Brutal. All right, we're going to put Andrew in Overwatch. Overwatch. Here they come. Really. Okay. X -ray down. I'm not comfortable moving up any further until those floaters come around. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll go out there and get them as well. Moving out. Put Sunny there. We'll keep you there. Move Caliente up. Me muevo a la posición. Yeah, I know they're there. Shh. You hear that? Okay. Hmm. Well, let's start with Tallmax, see if we can get him into a position where he can at least see them. Okay. 
der Position. The thing is, if they're both in Overwatch, you can only shake one. Richtig ab. Oh, they're over there. Shit. Yeah. Nice, he missed. I was not expecting them to be over there. Both 63%. Nice! Oh, no way, and you can't see that one. Oh, man, I was kind of counting on him to kill the other. Shit. Maybe you'll hit? Alright. Never mind. Alright, so now we'll move Andrew up here so we can also reload locked and loaded there is still the muton somewhere right i mean special there was two and then the berserker i'm almost positive i've only killed one Moving up the team. Apologies for this one, it's taking a long time, but uh, that's just what you gotta do sometimes. Caliente. You can really move. I wonder how much further you can move with those upgraded legs. Okay, Andrew, dash you up to here. Dodger, Dodger. Yeah, I, I forgot how powerful squad site really is. I'm on the move. Thing is nuts. I don't think we're alone out here. Is that another group that's outside again? Huh. Alright, well, let's get up towards the door. Okay. We will assault out of here next turn. Lista para atacar objetivos hostiles. Andrew, dash you up Moving here. To designated position. Looks like they're outside. In Marte. They're holding tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Okay. That's affirmative. I wonder if that's just the one muton that managed to escape. He made his way all the way over to the side of the ship. Heading to that location. Okay, and then we'll move. And 
Andrew. Let's get you up here. Oh man, yeah, I think he's flanking around the ship. <laughs> oh, we're just playing Ring Around the Rosie here. Um, Sunny. Alright, you little bastard. There you are. I mean, even with the height advantage, we can't have a good shot. But, good enough! Okay. And there goes the last muton that's been running around the uh, place. Alright, Sunny. Aye, aye, Commander. Maverick, aye, aye, we're going to go through the center here. I'm probably going to check this area, make sure that there's no aliens there, and then we'll move on to the bridge. I wonder if we're going to encounter those upgraded um, sectoids. Time to motor. Maybe. If that's the case, it'd be great to capture one. I don't think there should be anything over here to the left, but uh moving out. It never hurts to be cautious. You know, cautious like dashing someone up to a door. That was safe. Okay, caliente, dash you up there. Andrew, let's dash Roger you up here as well. Almost done. That initial con um stepping off. Battle, my god, dude. Oh my god, two two sec or mech toids and a flicking berserker. Again, if those mutons had actually come up with the berserker, I think we probably would have lost Talmac and Caliente. Easy. There now. I was debating on whether to keep you out of cover or not, but we should be okay. Open the door. Okay, yeah, that's coming from the bridge, so I'm pretty sure the only ones remaining are on the bridge. Okay, let's get the gamer. Oh, yeah, they put me down in there. I'm on it, Commander. I'm on the move. Estoy en marcha. And really, I'm starting to think that maybe I should have Stormy with a arc thrower since you can just move so far. Let's do this. Alright, well, we're going to be assaulting into the room next turn. Alright. I've seen enough. I don't think there's any question now. 
the goal of this alien research is to the detriment of all mankind. There are two outsiders here? I didn't see that coming. I don't want to move up any further though because I still think there's going to be another one of those sectoid commander guys up there. Huh. Well. Let's see. Let's try and get Maverick a kill by moving him first. Right up on this dude. Killing these particular aliens gets us nowhere. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. What? We've already captured one of these guys. Right? Yeah. What what is the hell is she talking about? I, I suppose I can try to capture another one. Moving. One damage? Are you fucking kidding me? Um. Shit. Moving out. It looks like I can't get close enough to try. All right. Well. All right, doctor. Saul. Dude, your way. There we go. That's what we needed. All right, Tolmac. Okay. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Huh? I thought for sure there's going to be one of those other guys. And I don't know why the doctor wanted us to cap capture another outsider. I don't remember having to capture two. But anyway, great mission. We didn't lose anybody, even though it looked like we were going to. <sighs> Again, apologies to know this was a, another longer one. But hey, nobody died. Only one upgrade, though. We have Sunny. Uh, I think you wanted Shredder Rocket, but I'll double check before I upgrade you. And then, out of all that, Tolmac is the only one that was wounded. I guess it makes sense. He was punched in the face by a berserker and lived. Look at all that stuff we got. Yeah, we got the flight computers. We can build the satellite uh, center. Whew. But all right, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Another successful mission. No deaths. That's what's important. And uh, next time, we're probably going to upgrade a mech to rank two. Probably start building a satellite nexus and um, well, the covert operation stuff, too. I guess it's probably going to be our next mission is against Exalt. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.